What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today we're gonna to be doing something I haven't done in a while. We're gonna be doing an open cut pour on an eight by eight canvas. The colors we're using are Thalo Blue, Light Blue Permanent. We have a fluorescent pink. We have an emerald green and a sap green. Titanium White. All these colors were mixed with one drop of silicone. Then I have two whites over here to kind of function as a base coat that don't have any silicone at all. I want to stop some of those beautiful cells from rolling under. So that's what the base coat is for. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing amazing. I'm gonna start by just layering these colors in the cup. And I'm gonna make alternating layers of light and dark of one color. We're trying something a little different this time. I wanna see if I can get the bands to be pretty well defined. Now normally they are still pretty well defined, but I want to, I want them to be even more defined. So we're gonna release that paint. Now we're gonna have a, a beautiful layer of this fluorescent pink and we're just going to release that too. There we go. And we have this sap green. It's really actually a pretty color on that pink. Now by itself it's not not that special looking but on top of that pink it's a pretty brilliant looking color. Alright, so I do want to layer these greens again. So I did two layers of the blues. I like this cool little octagon shaped cookie cutter. <laughs> so it's making these really cool lines going out from the center. Alright. Released it into the world. Now you can almost see the really subtle lines. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna layer these colors again. some magic <clears throat> we got some magic already happening I do want to go and personally thank you guys for those of you that support me in these videos. The Facebook group that I've advertised is doing really well. I'm getting much, much closer to being able to create art and interact with you guys on a full-time basis. And that's the whole goal. Some wise man said, if you do something you love, you never work a day in your life. This definitely doesn't feel like work to me. I love it. It's playing with a beautiful palette of color every day. Right. Now we're seeing that paint come out. What I'm gonna do is hit it with this heat gun because cells are already starting to form on their own. I'm very excited to help them along. Oh my goodness. Look at that.
That's gorgeous, you guys. But what I am noticing is we need more fluorescent pink to make these colors really stand out. So we're gonna layer these blues again. And then between each layer of the blues, we'll put a pink. And we will see here, I'm gonna try something that I don't normally do. Kind of adjusting this just a little bit. All right, a little bit more pink. That's another cool thing about this art form is like you can watch it evolve and adapt to it if you want to see something slightly different. Because I noticed I was barely using any of that fluorescent pink before. So now I know I still have a lot of paint. I can introduce more of that pink into it. to make sure it's even more pronounced. So, I may end up using more paint than is needed. Like right now, I probably have enough. Now, you know what? A little light. Just to liven these colors up a little bit. The white will add even more contrast. I love it. Okay. And the pink. Now we're seeing that the pink is a lot more pronounced than it used to be. And we're on blue. This is it for me. I love it. Just the magic of pour the colors, the colors do what they're going to do. I love the, the control of the chaos. Because realistically, there's only so much you can really do. That's why I think we're coming up towards our little end here. Let me see. I think I want the bright blue to be in the center. So I'm making these layers really thin now. So when we release these cups, or the colors, we have a bunch of layers to do our little swipe through. to take the heat gun to this, to this boy. Oh, good. All right. We are coming up on the end. And I'm seeing a lot of that magenta now. So we'll do our swipe. Beautiful. Take the heat gun. bring any cells to life that are underneath and there's going to be quite a few as it warms up making those cells just the silicone is just pushing to the surface and we did accomplish what we wanted i wanted more more magenta or more fluorescent pink in it we will adjust the composition ever so slightly. As you can see, we have more than enough paint, but just a gentle, gentle spin. That's all it takes. And we have these beautiful greens going out to the outside edge. Look at these brilliant blues and magenta uh, blues but i keep saying magenta because i keep seeing the color magenta in there with the way these colors blended together so i'm gonna take my heat gun to it one last time 
after we stretch these layers out, we should be able to coax even more cells to come to the surface. It almost looks like we're looking from like top down into like a cave. And encrusted on the side of the cave is a bunch of precious gemstones with a pool of water right at the very bottom. I don't know. My imagination's kind of crazy. What do you guys see? I absolutely love these colors together. These are colors normally I wouldn't have put together and I had my doubts, but it actually came out really good. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.